Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Local Ear Network. It is Monday night, 6 p.m. That's where we're at. Unless I'm desperately sick, I will be here. Desperately? I don't know if this word works. But if I'm sick, I won't be here. Because I wasn't here a couple weeks ago. But I'm back, and I'm well now. Uh, and I didn't have COVID, just so you know. <laughs> no COVID here. It was other other problems going on. Uh, so let's get excited about music, folks, and the singers and songwriters and independent artists putting out their new original songs in our areas that we're at now. Um, we're in five states now. I'm super excited about that. Of course, it's just little pockets here and there, but you know, hey, that's all right. A little, a little town there and a little town here. We'll take it. We will take it. I know we got some buzz going on in Joplin, a good buzz going on in Springfield, a good buzz going on in Fayetteville right now. We've got a little trickling of some activity in St. Louis. we got some activity in Wichita. We are in Fort Scott, Kansas. Of course, we're here in Nevada where I'm at. Um, and we're up in Denver, Colorado, a little bit of activity going on up there. And we're up in Iowa in a few little pockets. So uh, a lot of exciting stuff happening with the magazine anyway, and a lot of good uh, feedback coming through the emails and whatnot and stuff. So if you have not subscribed yet to Local Ear Magazine, it is super cheap right now. We're doing a very awesome special for the price of one issue. That's $3.50, folks. $3.50, man, for the price of one issue. You can get a whole year. This is the introductory uh, Local Ear offer just to get you in, and I am certain that once you subscribe... You will never unsubscribe. That's how exciting this magazine is and how confident I am in this product. This is, uh, let me tell you a couple things about this because we're getting a lot of other people that are coming in and they're learning as we go. Our initial issue came out. This was our issue one back, which wasn't actually the first issue of Local Ear. We put out like somewhere in the neighborhood of 60 issues before about 10 years ago. Uh, this is how it looked, except now it's in color. Back then. So we had to put out our first issue at the old price of $1.50, plus it also had less pages in it. So it was kind of just like less pages and just to get things going. Um, but our regular price will be $3.50 an issue. Um, we're talking with the distributors, some of the distributors, depending on where they're at. Um, they may want to price it accordingly per area, depending on that. So we're going to be in talk with that. So if you're a distributor and you have ideas for this, let us know. But I think the price falls around 350 that way it's not too expensive it's not too um so that's this next issue will be branded at 350 to my knowledge so um anyway long story short if you subscribe one time 350 you're in okay the newer issues are going to have a regular cover and they're going to have a few more pages in it so regular cover like a magazine would and a few more pages than this one so exciting so if you got this one and you thought it was great hey it's just going to get better folks uh, our next issue, I know we're going to be talking about some St. Louis stuff. We're going to be talking about some Fayetteville, Arkansas stuff. We're going to be uh, touching on the a lot of the new vendors that are coming in. There will be some in information about those folks in there and the magazine. So you're going to be learning about these vendors. And a lot of the things that, uh, as a reader of the magazine, a lot of the vendors are the people that you're going to want to be connected with. So these are going to be the record stores you're going to be buying records at. These are going to be some of the venues you're going to be wanting to play at. Uh, some of the restaurants you're going to be wanting to eat at, this kind of place. These are music central places because in this initial get go, uh, we'll, of course, we'd take anybody that wanted to be a vendor. It's not like we would turn them away, but the people we're reaching out to are the important people in the, the whole thing, the whole scheme of things. So uh, if you get an email from us, know that you were handpicked. There's a good reason why we're reaching out to you. We're not just reaching out to just anybody and everybody. We want it to be cohesive to our, our little world here at Local Ear. So that's exciting. So some things that uh, I'm really excited about the new issue. There's a lot of articles in this new issue. Um, there's, like I said, there's some about uh, some artists in St. Louis, some artists in uh, Fayetteville. Um, we'll be doing, you know, the spotlight events. There'll be these events that we spotlight. Now, these are all just the reason we spotlight them is because we know they're like events that are a little ways out and we have time to get them in our magazine. Of course, we're not going to be not going to be able to take over what the local scene, whoever that local scene, most every scene has their own little 
some of them have printed zines. Uh, most of them nowadays have some sort of website or or a YouTube page or something like that that's promoting their scene. We're never going to be able to surpass the local level of what they do and and those people. So we're going to hopefully embrace and you know help help the whole our network get to their network. So a lot of networks, hopefully. I guess I've I've described it, described this to you before, but really what we hope to get in a magazine and what um, you know more than promoting particular shows as general it's more about the bands and the artists we want to talk about the bands and the artists and of course when you do that you're going to talk about some of their shows that are coming up that's just all part of it but mostly we want to be talking about their new music that's coming out and then hopefully uh the, that new music will also if it's in sorry i had something just happened there an alert on my phone boom but um hopefully what will happen is the people that are putting out the music then some of the retailers where the magazine's going, those will be the stores that are carrying their physical product. We'll be reviewing that and letting people know that these these new creations are out there, whether it be in physical form, whether it be on record. Well, I guess record is physical form. Whether it be a digital release on the internet, wherever this is. And hopefully we can amplify that and get these people excited about the music that's coming out from these great artists in these areas that we are we're serving. And uh, the, there are a lot of artists out there that are well worth giving listens to that somebody maybe in Missouri might not know who they are or might not discover them even though they're on the internet they're in Colorado and that connection may just never happen hopefully we can bring some connections together like that and of course again we're never going to get it all but hopefully we can uh, we can do serve the areas where our magazine's at so wherever you're at if you are randomly watching right now in Oklahoma and we don't have any distributors out there yet and you subscribe to the magazine, we're going to take note of that, and we're going to try to get you in Oklahoma, some people that are in Oklahoma that you'll know about to the people in Missouri and the people in Missouri that you need to know about in Oklahoma. This, these, this street will go. So hopefully hopefully that's going to happen with this magazine in a, in a very productive sort of way, an exciting way. And so far it uh, seems to be going well. So I'm excited, and I am pleased. I thank you if you have subscribed, if you're one of the many that have came in this week. Thank you. If you're one of our new distributors, thank you. Uh, we're going to be pumping out some ads. You'll be able to find all the distributors um, on our website. And uh, it's actually on the retro website, as I like to call it. But you'll get there through www.localearmusic.com. That comes up on your phone real friendly. And the retro site is not as phone friendly as it should be. And like I said, we, we did that on purpose kind of just because that's how it's been for the past, you know, years. So we didn't want to change something that was um, that we feel is pretty cool as it is. And so you do have to turn your phone sideways, and that helps you view it a little bit better on your phone. But ultimately, the best experience for the retro website is to view it on a laptop or a computer. But uh, but then, like I said, getting there, the gateway, you'll fall through the phone-friendly stuff that has a lot of information and, and, and is exciting getting you into it. So hopefully this experience can be can be had all over the place. Of course, we have our Facebook page and lots of going on there, but right now we're just kind of plugging where we're at and trying to get people excited from these different areas. And uh, we're doing a lot of sharing of some of the some of the vendors, places, and, and the shows. We try to sh share some shows and things there that are more um, kind of up to the minute stuff that's not so, uh, that we may hear about closer to the event. Because a lot of times people don't announce their events as far out. So hopefully, uh, Hopefully we can spotlight a lot of the events that are like CD release parties and just maybe big shows like homecoming shows or like maybe two major bands in the areas have joined for the first time or something to do something fantastic like that. So hopefully those are the things that we'll kind of preview in the in the in the the, the actual zine because really we only have room for about tw probably twelve shows is all we can really actually kind of plug in there other than maybe something mentioned in an article or something but anyway and then we've got our news briefs and the news briefs hopefully will be some some cool stuff like uh, radio appearances and maybe just some odds and ends knowledge about what where some band maybe played or or uh, what they've done the band has done like on the side like uh, members of the what and whatever band you know did a fundraiser for you know children's mercy or something like that where they weren't really playing, but they were doing something they were involved. That would be some interesting things. So we want to hear all these kind of things. So you can post your links down here. And 
uh, we will be building a, a a link on our website. This should be up probably within the week where you'll be able to click it and you'll be able to submit a story to us uh, or a press release. So um, if you want to write something for our magazine, you'll be able to submit it there. And if we actually accept it and print it, doesn't pay a whole lot, but you actually get paid for that. So you get a paycheck for that. Now, press releases, of course, you don't get paid for a press release, but uh, we would use that press release and, and and put that information if we feel like it's something that's uh, good for the thing. And again, you got to get it out really early. You got to be thinking, you know, like stuff now we're putting in the magazine. Now we're almost done with the April issue, April, May issue, and it's just now March. So you got to get got to get kind of out early if you've got something so those big stories that you know ahead of time, let us know about that. And those big shows, if you're opening for somebody big in your area, something big, major for you, let us know those. And like I said, that should be up this week, and you'll be able to click that press release thing and just put it in there and click send, and it's really easy. And that'll be happening on our website at www.localearmusic.com. Again, you can subscribe there. You can become a vendor there. And just, like I said, soon you'll be able to write, submit an article or press release through that. So that's going to be easy, and it's very phone-friendly, the first part of it, like I said. Then you can click the button and go on into the retro website uh, if you want to. And some cool stuff is there's a blog on the website, and there's some things that are happening there. That are our local ear Hall of Fame on there that we'll be adding to. Uh, and that's all that. You can learn a lot about what we've done in the past and, and stuff there. And then the new stuff will uh, basically comes out in the magazine. But... As time develops, stuff will happen. Things will happen. So, I don't know. It's fun. So We'll be doing stuff. You'll be doing stuff. Everybody will know about it. So in the meantime, let us know. Post your band's link down here, your link to your music, whatever you'd like to post that we need to know about. If you think we need to know about you, put it there. And then we will read each and every one of those and probably write about each and every one of those because that's how cool we are here at Local Ear Magazine. I also... Uh, I'm about out of here because I actually went a minute over. But I do want to thank uh, uh, one of our regular writers, Jeremy Wiltsey up in Joplin, Missouri, who's been doing a lot of great things for us uh, on in the magazine. And now we have uh, some help with our, our, our editor now is Aubrey Robinson. So uh, thank her for joining the team, kind of, uh, kind of semi-permanent, so to speak. So uh, that's exciting. And then um, I wanted to – Molly Healy wrote – a thing that we printed last issue so she's down in Springfield and uh, who else did anybody else do send me anything in I can't think of it I don't think anybody sent anything else in yet so I guess there's just four of us that wrote so far but uh, hopefully exciting stuff will be happening it will be happening thanks again I'm Dangerous Doug Harper and uh, this has been Network here on Local Air see you next Monday <laughs>